Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video is the third episode of my series, Creating My Own, in this case, Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Quad. And I'm super excited for this video because I'm collaborating not only with a fellow YouTuber, but also someone that I can truly call my friend, and her name is Tara Lean. If you haven't checked her channel yet, you're missing out big time because if you want the most accurate and very honest in your face, reviews of the most new beauty makeup products, she is your go-to. I think she has set an example for me. I remember I started my YouTube channel about a year and a half ago, and I was a subscriber of her, and every time, every single day, in other words, that I watch her reviews, I find out that like, I really like how authentic she is. She's honest and she will give you a very thorough review of every product and she will tell you in your face, this is a really good product, this is nothing that you need to spend your money on or you know, even give you some options and I really like that. You know, authenticity, just being like, you know, very honest, give you options. She even like does breakdowns of products per gram so to see like, is it really a good value for your money? Do you really need to spend your money on these? And I just absolutely love all of that about her. I just like her way. She's funny. She She's a joy to watch, aside that she's just gorgeous. And when she, I tell you that she is to me a friend, she is. Because as a smaller YouTuber and in this learning path, I have had so many questions along the way. And you know, I can Google it, I can search it even on YouTube, but certain questions I'm like, I'm lost. And you know, I have gone ahead and private message her and she has always been there for me. And for that, Tara, I wanna thank you so much for being that unconditional friend, being there and really practice community over competition. That phrase is being said in many ways, even on my own industry here, on you know my real life per se and on my YouTube life. And sometimes you don't find that you know to be the case. But with Tara, I have found that with you. Thank you so much for always being here, always supporting me. Anyhow, my friends, I hope that after you watch this video, you will go ahead and give all the love and support that Tara deserves. And basically, if you are new to my channel, well, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you would like to stick around and become part of my family. You know the drill, very simple under this screen. It says subscribe in red, just tap in there. And do not forget to ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram so we can just keep connected and have, you know, something to talk about, all about beauty, why not? And basically, this video is, um, I don't wanna be redundant, this is my third episode. My first episode, I did it a couple weeks ago with Alicia from Kinky Sweat. My second episode, it was with Natasha Denona and I did it in collaboration with Morgan Turner. And basically, it's just giving some love to our collection. Because let's be honest, a lot of us, we are collecting a lot of makeup, perhaps from one brand or perhaps from many brands, and we don't give those products enough love and you know at the end in a year from now they will go bad so basically i'm just gonna take out all the eyeshadow palettes in this case from charlotte tilbury that i own i will put it right here on top of you know my makeup station that i have and then i will just go ahead and start swatching them and i will create my own unique ideal luxury palette from charlotte tilbury using existing shades this idea came from well, you know, I cannot give this like, okay, this is an idea from this person or another person because, I mean, to begin with, we have seen, you know, like single eyeshadows from central brands and you can create a palette from that brand and then we have seen people from Instagram doing it too. But mainly, I want to refer always to Samantha Ravadolf here on YouTube. She created her own Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. So she was, for me, the inspiration to like, okay, you know, I want to do these, but I want to do it with different brands. So I have the Amparo McGrath, Natasha Denona, and today Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just going to put right now the camera down and you're going to start seeing the process of how I'm selecting the perfect eyeshadow shades for my little luxury quad from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay friends, so I lay out right here all my Charlotte Tilbury palettes. These are the ones that have 
made it through the clutters and cleanups and whatnot and basically you know the drill right now i'm gonna open all these palettes and i'm gonna start swatching and then just to start the process of selecting what i want to do and what i'm talking like this <laughs> is because i just painted my nails so i'm waiting for them to dry and while i'm waiting for them to dry i can do these parts okay so let's get started Of this process, one of the parts that I enjoy the most is when I take all the collection out and I start swatching, although obviously the skin of my arms is like, please stop, it's too much to take, but it's just fun. It's fun to kind of like, you know, like get yourself like, okay, what I'm gonna use the most, what perhaps this brand is missing out for me or how I will rearrange, you know, these eyeshadows. And believe me, creating a quad is perhaps a lot harder than creating an eyeshadow palette because it's like you're containing everything on a little quad and it's kind of like okay it really needs to speak to you so i'm super excited because right now i'm going to show you my final creation and because and this is something that i want to tell you these eyeshadows you cannot pop them out not even with a magnet don't try to you know manipulate anything in here but because there's no way to take the eyeshadows out. I had to, you know, go ahead and do it all in Photoshop. So let me show you how it looks, my Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Quad name Jacketing. <laughs> Here it is, do you like it? Hopefully you do. I think I did. I mean, a lot of people will be like, well, Charlotte Tilbury is really repetitive. Mm, you know, it's everything pretty much very repetitive. <laughs> it is what it is but what i like about charlotte tilbury is the simplicity of her entire makeup line it's very feminine that's what i find with charlotte tilbury i mean you're not talking about like you know like crazy makeup not that that's wrong you know for makeup artists you know like creativity is all over there with all the colors of the rainbow but charlotte tilbury is again that you know feminine aspect of woman and very you know like um you know a very sensual type of makeup just something that makes you look pretty effortless and her formulation what i love about it too is just a it's just very forgiving mostly when you have like me hooded eyes with a lot of folds i find out that to be some of the things that i love about charlotte tilbury products in general not only eyeshadows but let me just go ahead take you over the eyeshadow swatches, tell you from which palette I grabbed what and the reasons why. So there's a story behind my little quad. Copper Charge, I take the prime shade, which is this beautiful champagne leaning into the golden tone. From the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette, I went to the section Desk and I took this middle shade right here, and this is a matte shade to enhance. And from a starry eyes to hypnotize, this was a holiday eyeshadow palette. I went to the first section, Happy Glow, and I took this matte shade right here. It's kind of like a soft brown neutral matte. And this is my Smoke Third Shade. And last from Walk of Shame, I'm taking the Pop Shade. So here you go, this is Jacqueline's Luxury Quad. 
and why I decided on these shades right here. What I noticed with Charlotte Tilbury palettes in general is that there's a lot of pink tones, a lot of them. And yes, there are some warm tones, but if we don't find like the pink tones, we will find more of like maroon shades. There's a couple blues here and there. And I feel like on her entire luxury quads, I feel like there's a gap that she, I haven't been able to find. It is to create a luxury quad with peach tones. And I love peach shades. It's one of the colors that I love the most. Mostly right now that we're approaching summertime and we're right now in the springtime is something that I really, really like. But I had found that a scatter here and there, like on these two palettes right here, and also on another palette, we have some peach shades, but not in the format of a quad. So that's what I was thinking of. So these right here, although it's kind of like I said, like a champagne shade with, you know, just a hint of gold, if you flip it, it does have a little undertone of peach. These right here, this matte right here is the perfect peach matte ever. And then this right here is a nice, not too warm brown. It's more neutral because believe me, obviously I have swatched all of the shades right here. And in fact, when you see this video, I have already uploaded my video reviewing the new bronzers from Charlotte Tilbury and also her new Desert Haze eyeshadow quad. I will be linking it obviously in the tags and down below, but anyhow, I do not have that quad right there to really compare more matte brown shades. So out of what I have right now when I'm filming this, which is kind of weird, I'm filming this in the morning and the afternoon I will be filming, you know, the review for the other stuff. So out of those, I think this right here is a really nice brown matte shade. And then these right here, this pop shade right here in Walk of Shame, which is kind of like so crazy to see these maroony shades right here and then this pulp it's just incredible it does have this beautiful peachy undertone to it when it flips it's just at another level of amazingness and now that i explained why i selected each of these shades let me bring you closer so we can start with a nice shadow look sonia g jumbo blender and the shade prime from copper charge and i'm taking this shade all over the lid Wingo's number four brush and the shade Enhance from the desk section on Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. And I'm just taking this shade right here and applying it on my outer V and then I'm gonna take it right on my crease. I'm also taking it on the inner portion of my eyelid. Refer 01 brush and from the section Happy Glow from Starry Eyes to Hypnotize, I'm gonna go to this matte shade. And that I'm just gonna use it to deepen out a little V, my outer V. Walk of Shame and the Pop shade with Sonia G Builder Pro. And I'm just applying it right on the center of my eyelid. And if you want to emphasize that same shade, and if you're okay using your finger, I'm okay using my finger, <laughs> you can do so too and just pop it in there. BK Beauty 204 brush, and we go again to this peach shade, and I'm just going to take it on my lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer, and I'm going to go to Happy Glow again. And I'm gonna take it on my lower lash line very close though, just to deepen it out even more. Refer 03 brush and the pop shade from Copper Charge. And I'm gonna use that shade to pop it right here on my inner corner and also use it on my brow bone. Okay, I want to be humble right here, but I have to say that I really love the outcome of my luxury quad right here because, I mean, we can see 
a scatter within the eyeshadow palettes existing for Charlotte Tilbury. There are a few peach shades, but I mean, I don't, I mean, at least I don't recall any of her quads being dedicated to their coral or peach. She just came out with a blue one, with a green one, the, the mesmerizing maroon, the copper charge. I made my review of them. They are lovely, but still there's no really one that is, you know, like that coral tone that, I don't know, I just think maybe too much about summertime because that's what I like. And I feel like I will get really good use out of it. Also, I do have kind of like a warm undertone, golden undertone skin and the shades, they look good on me. And I also wanted it to keep that format of the luxury palette for respect of Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, she's an amazing makeup artist and she has created really a beautiful makeup line that is very um, effortless. Like every time that I grab any of Charlotte Tilbury products, I feel like, okay, this is so simple to blend, so easy, yet it just give the most like beautiful, very feminine looks. And I was just thinking, you know, I really want to keep that format of having the prime shade, then the enhance, the smoke, and then the pop shade. I think that was also important for me kind of to, you know, achieve that. And I'm happy. I'm happy with the look. And now it is your turn. I really want to read your comments. Please leave them down below. Let me know what you think about my Jacqueline luxury quad. <laughs> what you have made different. What will be your perfect quad that you would love for Charlotte Tilbury to come out with? Again, I would love to know your thoughts right there. Also, while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you take the opportunity, don't let it pass, and subscribe to my channel. I will truly love to have you here more often. Also, do not forget, very important, to ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I have a lot of content right here from, you know, reviewing new stuff, hauls, this series right here that I hope to continue. Let me know what other brand you would like to see next. I think that's super important so we can keep this series pumping and, you know, being very creative and other takes and whatnot. And most important thing right here, please, Go and check Tara's channel. You will love her. You will fall in love. As soon as you watch her, like from the first video, I'm sure you will just be like hooked with her. And for Tara, I really want to see what have you created? What is your perfect palette from Charlotte Tilbury's line? Because I know you are a Charlotte Tilbury lover. So who else <laughs> than you to make, you know, a little luxury palette? The name Taraline. Wow. <laughs> I really want to see that. Thank you so much, Tara, for accepting and collaborating with me. It's always a joy and a pleasure. Thank you so much for that beautiful friendship that I feel that is a blessing to my heart, and you know it, girl. Okay, my friends, if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. Do not forget and come and follow me on my Instagram. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.